How to install macOS Big Sur on an unsupported Mac, part 2. On the previous video we installed a beta version using Barry KN's Big Sur micro patcher. In this video we'll be installing 11.1 .1 release candidate using a pre-downloaded install assistant package and Ben Sover's patch sir which is available on GitHub. All of the links and a basic guide will be in the description. Anything beyond that refer to the patch sir GitHub page. To download patch sir, click on the link where it says release and latest, scroll down and download the DMG file. When you open it for the first time, you'll have to go into System Preferences and Security and allow it to run. After that, go through the prompts, select Release. Clean isn't working, so we'll have to select Update. It will then download some files. I've already downloaded the install assistant package so we're going to click view other versions, find an installer, select that package, click use pre-downloaded install assistant, type in your password. Click on your USB name and then continue. If you're unsure how to correctly format the USB, refer back to my Big Sur micro patcher video. The link is in the description. This will take a long time, so again, go away and do something else. When it's finished you'll get this prompt, so you'll want to shut down and start up again holding the ALT key. As per the instructions, click on the yellow EFI boot icon. If there are multiple, unplug your USB and plug it in again to see which one is correct. When you click it will immediately reboot, so press the ALT key again and then click on the installer. Here click on install Big Sur and continue. Click continue, then agree and agree. Select your hard drive and then click continue to start the installer. Once it's installed we can run patch sir it has options there to disable animations. We can check system information. It's a work in progress so some options aren't available yet. Now we want to patch text. I had to click on force skip check and then put in my password. It threw up an error. I'd recently upgraded my Wi-Fi card, so there was nothing to patch. If you have the older Wi-Fi card, it will patch the driver, and then everything should be complete. I had a few issues along the way, including my Wi-Fi dropping out. After I upgraded my Wi-Fi Bluetooth card, I was getting kernel panics when it resumed from sleep. Since then I've done a reinstall and everything's working perfectly. If you like this video and hardware fixes and hacks, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.